Hey, Miss Davis here. Today we're reading Mapping Penny's World by Laureen Leedy. Mapping Penny's World. Mapping Penny's World. My name is Lisa and my class is making maps this month. My teacher, Mr. Jason, says a map is a picture of some place from above. It's like flying over that spot on an airplane. Mr. Jason says we can make a map of any place, like a room, a yard, or a neighborhood. Maybe I could make a map of my bedroom at home. I'll measure my room and everything in it to make my map. Of course, I'll have to include Penny's bed. Penny is my Boston Terrier and she sleeps in here too. Do you want to measure the fish tank, Penny? My map shows how my bedroom would look from overhead, as if I were looking down from the ceiling. That is a close-up map of the fish tank. Thanks for your help, Penny. Penny likes to hide her toys and other stuff in the yard. I have found shoes and socks in the strangest places. Maybe I'll make a map of Penny's hideouts. On this map, some of the symbols stand for the goodies she has hidden outside. The rest of the symbols represent the fence, table, and other things that are supposed to be out there. Penny, if you hide my doll, you'll be in big trouble. Maps are good for giving directions. Suppose Penny's friend Maxine wants to come over. You could say, go out your back door, turn right by the trash cans, crawl under the gap in the wooden fence, watch out for the big orange cat, squeeze through the bushes, turn left, look for the yellow fire hydrant, Turn right on the sidewalk. Go to the third house on the right with the red door. Sit down in front of it and bark. Whew! Or you could draw a map instead. Here's the shortest way from Maxine's house to our house. It's a lot longer if you go around the block instead of going the back way. I can't take Maxine when I ride my bike because there's only room for Penny in the basket. These are our trails. To make this map, I measured our footpaths with a pedometer, a tool that shows how far a person walks. For the bike trails, I use an odometer, which shows how far a vehicle travels. The map scale show the real distances in the park, according to the map. The distance between point A and point B is two tenths of a mile. When we go out into the neighborhood, Penny has some favorite places she likes to visit again and again. I made this three-dimensional map with construction paper and clay. The numbers show where Penny can do different activities. Penny loves to travel outside our neighborhood too. I think there are special places she would enjoy visiting, like a doggy treat factory, a really huge park, or a big dog show. This map shows a few of the places Penny can go, and I'm going with her. Don't forget the maps, Penny. I hope that you enjoyed today's story called Mapping Penny's World. Teachers, I use this during our social studies unit when we start talking about maps and different things that go on the map. There's a great page right at the beginning that talks about different parts of a map. There's a lots of really good examples of how to make maps and kids really are able to grasp maps a little bit better 
when it's told by the perspective of the little girl and uses the dog. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today's story. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye!